Good morning, everyone. Today is day... No, I'm only kidding. It's going to be quite a cold one today. You can see I've got quite a few layers on. So you saw a few days ago where we emptied the second half of the summer house. So I'm going to show you what the plan is today. We want to be in and out because it is pretty cold and we can make use of the time tidying up the tool room, which is the middle room on the back end of the kitchen. So this is our tool room, kind of storage as well. You can see there's just bits of insulation and polystyrene from the tip that we reclaimed for the utility room. So there's just bits of spare things. Now, all of this was actually brought over from the UK. And you can see we did pretty well cleaning this area the other day. And we've made use of some empty boxes now after putting it all in the polytunnel. So we want to box up loads of tools and start bringing them inside the house. You see, it's looking pretty sparse in here now, which is really good for when the weather starts clearing up. So the plan is to start boxing all of this up. Um, there's another two spare doors there. And it's just all sorts. Absolutely all sorts. And this is where the old Petschka flu is. And it's just, the ceiling above here is absolutely nasty it's full of uh, nests and all sorts and in one of the very early videos taking out the hole in the summer house wall that's what we had exposed to the kitchen previously and there was loads of boards and stuff here but unfortunately we did get some furry friends crawling through through the winter period but we're going to absolutely nail this this year and i've told you before we want to do and take this down and put a new buttress wall and block it all off so there's actually a, a really large sheet metal uh, fastened to the kitchen side wall and then insulation on the other side. And since we did that, we've had no issues. The plasterboard was all spare from the extension jobs and the partition walls. So we've only got five or four or five sheets left that will most likely have to stay in here because it won't fit in the cellar. Water heater that can be moved, but it's just all sorts. So we're going to start tidying this today. pretty happy with what we've done so far a couple of hours and we've managed to declutter a lot of that it might not look like it but we had all loads of crap along the top and we've started assigning separate boxes for each genre of tools plumbing electrical hand tools things like that big tools around the right hand side so now we are going to go into the cellar and try and make a plan what is getting moved where, what's coming out to the polytunnel and things like that. But we don't want to move stuff into there whilst there's still a lot of planning to be done. So let's go into the cellar. Yeah, so currently it's a pantry and storage area, dumping, ba ground. dumping ground, drill battery charging station, and it's time to give it a bit of a revamp. It's been neglected over winter. And like we said, we need to get the tools and stuff out of that summer house. So... And we actually don't know how long we'll have to keep the tools in here for. Because building a tool store isn't on the agenda actually anytime soon, is it? No. Living quarters comes first before workshop. Mm. Okay, so the, the, the future vision would be to have the fridge and freezer here against the back of the staircase and then this metal racking will be disassembled and turned into normal shelves for the jars and the pantry storage and the metal racking unit will actually be used in the future workshop but for now it'll just be flat packed we have another set of it down there so this pog area yeah, it's eventually going to be shut off but we're going to put all the tools on this back wall it goes in about a metre and a half but the fridge is casting quite a big shadow on that. So this area here is basically being tidied and sorted to go down there around the corner. And then all the tools, and we've got like 
our bulk storage of detergents and washing up liquids and cleaning materials that we bought when we first got here and some that we brought over from the UK. So this is where we get all our bulk stuff which saves us money when we do our shopping. So let's crack on. So far so good, all the loose things have been duplicated in here on the shelves, so we've got screws, nails, wall plugs, blades, hand tools down here, charging stations back up and running. It's quite cool really isn't it? Yeah. So now the plan is to start bringing some of the boxes in and putting them around that corner and then maybe bang some big nails into the mud mortar and hang some stuff up if we can get away with it. Mission accomplished for now. Just turn you around. Everything is looking pretty good. We've got the paints in, we've got the boxes in, anything less used is on around the side in the little mine that it looks like. And everything's ready to go. For the rest of the day, I'm gonna smash up the old shelf unit that used to have all those nails and screws on that's bone dry I might as well burn that tonight and it's just been eaten to crap on it so yeah half an hour smashing up for the rest of the day and we'll see you soon division in <laughs> 